my YouTube family. Welcome to Melda242. I am Rimelda and today it's quarantine time. We're fixing something that is quick and simple. Boiled bananas with tuna and spinach. Here are the ingredients on my left. That's my bananas. I've already given them a head start. That's about a hand of bananas, five to six bananas, green bananas. I've slid each of the bananas down the middle and then I'm gonna allow them to go. Now in the saucepan, I have about two tablespoons of oil. I'm just allowing that to heat up before adding the onions and the bell pepper. Let me just move these cherries out of the way. Snacking on these earlier. Okay, let's begin. I'm just going to add the onions and the bell pepper to the to this pan. Then I will add the thyme. I just like to say thank you to all of my subscribers who are here with me today and also to my followers. We all locked in so I decided to just share this little simple dish with you. If you try this I know you will enjoy it because it's my favorite. Here I am just pulling the leaves off of the stems. Just the leaves. Okay, and I drop I just dropped the stems in for additional flavors, flavor as well. But I won't we won't be eating the stems. Next, I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and red pepper flakes. Now the red pepper flakes can be substituted with black pepper or any other pepper that you would want to use. But I'm using red pepper flakes today. Give that a good mixing. Okay, let's recap. I have two tablespoons of oil, a half of a medium onion, and a medium bell pepper. Quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now, here comes the tuna fish. I've already drained and rinsed the tuna fish right in the can. This is the albacore tuna. So I'm just gonna, going to be adding these two the pan along with the herbs two tins so all I did is lift the lid and let the water run over it and squeeze it out see that it's really packed into the can Good tuna fish, solid meat. So this is a nice, quick and easy, healthy lunch that I learned from my mom when she was alive. So this is something that is very simple. And it's almost finished, believe it or not. Okay, I'll allow that to fry down for about three to five minutes. Next, I'm going to add a half of a lemon. Oh, I just accidentally dropped a seed. So I'm fishing that seed out of the pan. Okay. This is a half of the lemon, just to season up the tuna fish. All right. my hand a quick rinse okay mm. 
Mix this together. Make sure the lime juice is touching everything in the pan. Okay. Two tins of tuna fish, a half of a medium, onion, bell pepper, some thyme, and two tablespoons of oil along with black pepper, sorry, along with red pepper flakes and salt. Now here comes the spinach. This is frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach if you wish. But I have the frozen one, so I'm going to be using this. You can add as much as you want. So I'm just squeezing out, out of the out the water out of out of it, squeezing out the water because I don't like it when it I don't like the um, tuna fish when it's soggy, so I don't need that much liquid. So I'm just squeezing the water out of the tuna fish. This was in the freezer, so it's already thawed. Okay, so you can use as much as you wish. That's the spinach. Give this a good mixing. This is one of my favorite lunches. One of my favorite. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Tone of fish with spinach. Now we are having this today with boiled green bananas. But you can use yam, cassava, arrows, whatever you wish. Or even white rice. Now I've just added a tablespoon of tomato paste. One tablespoon. So for those of you who are vegans, feel free to try this out. You would love it. This recipe is packed with goodness. Okay, let's recap again. I have two tablespoons of oil, a half of an onion, bell pepper, salt, red pepper flakes, two tins of tuna fish, some spinach, thyme, and I've just added like about a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Just a little bit. And one tablespoon of tomato paste. That's a closer look. Oh, I love this dish. Give it a try. You would love it too. This was my mom's favorite and now it's mine. I am in love with this. Like I said, you can also serve it with boiled yams or sweet potato. Now I'm just adding a little bit of water, about two to three spoonfuls. Two to three spoonfuls. Okay. I don't like the tone of fish wet, so I don't add as much liquid. Give it about three minutes or so, and then it's ready to serve as long as the bananas are ready. So when I do this again, I'm just going to add a little bit of this garlic salt, about a quarter teasp teaspoon. I'll be serving it with some yams. Boiling some yam. And that'll be it.
nice and healthy. You can also add half ripe um, plantains and all to it. Just fix it up. Whatever you want to add in it, you can add it, add to it. I'm just going to cover it down and allow it to go for about three minutes. Just waiting on the um, bananas to soften some more. Give them a check. Now I said I put a split. I slid the knife all along the sides. So once the slit is open up, that means the bananas are ready. They should only take about 10 minutes max to cook. Green bananas. Loaded with iron. Okay, I'm checking them. Okay, they're open. So they're ready. Once you give it a slip, it should open if it's finished. That's a way of telling when they are. All right, that's the signature thumbs up. Ready. Woohoo, it's time to eat. That's a close up. Boy, look at it. Yes. Okay, it's time to plate it. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so there are three of us in here, so I'm going to start everyone off with two bananas. So I have about six in this pot. My daughter probably would only eat one, so my husband can have three, two for me. And she gets one, so nice simple lunch. can't go anywhere so got to eat healthy try to stay alive this is quarantine food boiled bananas with tuna fish and spinach oh my word look at it yes it's ready thank you for watching this video all the way to the end Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Feel free to share it with your family and friends. I appreciate you. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe.